Today, 75% of the drugs coming to market are first in class therapies and they're specialty drugs, they're rare disease drugs. What we're finding is that those R&D organizations that are developing the drugs today are actually looking to commercialize them. So I think we're gonna see pharma companies be much smaller. I think they're gonna be nimble, they're gonna be agile, and they're gonna be developing therapies faster with the use of things like real world evidence. Welcome to For the Health of It, a series where we bring together top scientists, analysts, and health experts to discuss some of the biggest challenges in healthcare today. I'm your host, Bill Evans. Today, we're excited to be joined by Prasad Kanamuri, the co-founder and CEO of Mavens, now part of Komodo Health. And we are working together to further advance our shared mission of reducing the burden of disease. So building on the idea of transforming the patient experience, there's been a lot of conversation about the enterprise transformation that's happening in the pharma company. What can patients expect from these technological advancements and what does that look like at the point of care? The challenges patients are having are in the unknown. So oftentimes you may suffer from um, some symptom of a disease and visit your primary care physician and the primary care physician is unable to diagnose or treat that condition they refer you to a specialist who then refers you to maybe another specialist. And this condition persists over time. And while not only persisting, it gets worse. And so one of the things that we're seeing is with the access to data, we are able to now actually start getting ahead of the patients and informing HCPs of typical symptoms caused by types of diseases so therapies can be identified sooner. Given so many advancements, there's probably still a number of barriers or challenges to get to this sort of optimal vision of the future. What do you think those are? Like if, if I'm a head of a pharma co right now, what, what should I be thinking about to help accelerate this transformation? Well, I think one of the things is in the digital space, you're no longer physically interacting with someone. So you may remember actually going to a doctor's office and signing a sheet of paper that gives your HIPAA consent. And that then allows for your data to be shared within that organization in a compliant manner. As we interact over digital channels, which is creating a tremendous amount of data today, that consent is one of the missing pieces for us to actually get insights out of that data. And so one of the things that Mavens has been working on with our customers is providing that digital consent capabilities. And as digital becomes adopted, managing consent will become increasingly important, especially when you have regulations like the Consumer Privacy Act in California, um, GDPR in Europe, et cetera. We're going to see more and more of that data privacy considerations emerging. and It'll be increasingly important to manage consent if we're going to get any value out of the data that we're creating. So pharma as an industry uh, has classically been science-led, and rightly so. And I think what we're seeing is more capabilities in the digital arts, IT, technology, data science being added. This is radically transforming pharma's business model and also the industry as a whole. From your perspective, what do you think the pharma company of the future looks like? I think the pharma company of the future will look uh, different than what our uh, current understanding of pharma is. Most people, when they think of pharma, they think of big pharma, they think of the big global organizations. Um, but today, 75% of the drugs coming to market are first in class therapies and they're specialty drugs. They're rare disease drugs. What we're finding is that those R&D organizations that are developing the drugs today are actually looking to commercialize them. So I think we're going to see Pharma companies be much smaller. I think they're going to be nimble, they're going to be agile, and they're going to be developing therapies faster with the use of things like real world methods. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter for upcoming information about future episodes. Thanks for watching For the Health of It. See you next time.